What's up, everyone? Welcome to another Talking Bull Reacts. This one's a big one. It's Talking Bull Reacts to Comic Con. I'm Anthony, and this is Nick. Hi. How's everyone doing? Everyone had a great Comic Con announcement. Hopefully, I did. Real some really good announcements. So uh, I think let's start off with the big one. Ready at Player One. <laughs> nah, I'm just fucking with you. It was obviously Justice League. Getting the Justice League trailer. So we're going to jump right there? Oh, yeah. I'm jumping right into the big nitty-gritty of uh, what we saw. Justice, Justice League. League trailer. Trailer. Amazing. Fucking incredible. Fantastic. Yeah, it was awesome. four minutes. Like, look at that shot right here. Everyone gets a great shot. This one shot he's showing me right now is the shot of all them walking up to uh, the, the steps. steps. That's a memorial, yeah. it looks like. Yeah, the Superman Memorial, yeah, so showing really unity cool. and whatnot. So, yeah, that was uh, great. There awesome was, fucking trailer. Loved yeah. it. Everyone got uh, kind of, like, their moment to shine in the yeah. trailer. There was some, like, great fight sequences. Nothing um, made me cringe in the trailer. No, there was the, the, there was jokes, but it was the Flash being the Flash, and mm -hmm. there was some great bits. There's the, the great bit where he was like, I'm not really ready to fight. I kind of just run fast and push people yeah <laughs> that was great uh him on the building mm -hmm. or with, with gordon they all he was like oh how many are you and he's like not enough and then they all leave and like in the flash is just standing there going oh did they leave oh man that's so rude and then he just zooms on <laughs> out of there so that was that was fantastic um another great beat in it is uh aquaman they seem really going with the uh the dude bro a little bit with him. Mm -hmm. There's a few lines in the trailer where it just seems that way. Yeah. And then there's that great bit where he's <laughs> riding the the, uh, the <laughs> demon just right through a building, comes down and just kind of looks around. He's yeah. like, yeah, I did that. That was really cool. Um, then the closing shot of uh, Alfred looking at someone saying, oh, that, I hope you be this, here. Though, where Alfred mentions to Batman about, remember the days when you were just dealing with Penguin? Yeah. Like that was a cool nod too. Yeah. Like that, I like that. And he's like, yeah. <laughs> he's like, this sucks. Everyone's more powerful than I am now. Mm -hmm. um, but at the end. Yeah, so at the end, he says, I hope you return. And it's obviously Superman. They, He is hope. They keep, they've keep they mentioned that over and over again. Yeah, Some hope. people are like, oh, it's Green Lantern, blah, blah, blah. It's not Green Lantern. It's, it's, it's going to be yeah. Superman. Yeah. Um, they do start off the trailer opening with, there are no lanterns and there is no Kryptonian. Let's fuck this shit up, yeah. basically. <laughs> so they're like, we can take Earth. Mm -hmm. And I like that they reference uh, Superman, and I, that means they've been watching. Mm -hmm. And I like that they reference the Green Lanterns. Yeah. Which was great, because so, like, obviously there is Green Lanterns. The thing with the Green Lanterns, then, is like... Because I'm pretty sure that Hal already exists. Because when they go into... Yeah, the there's two already. They've yeah, already, when already yeah we'll get to that so in a they second. they just don't... Um, they're just not there. They're just there, not there. And I not think he. The sector yet. It seems like he's going to show up. One of I them. I think he will. It just it, like in this movie. But I don't just, think he's in the movie. I, I I don't know. It just seems like they're keeping it under wraps. Uh, it just it it seems like there he's gonna be here. Yeah, I don't know if he's in the movie, but it just that reference that line is like the idea is like we we already know that he kind of exists. Yeah. At least the two of them, if not one for sure. Yeah. Because they think. Green Lantern Corpse is Hal being there and bringing in John or whatever, right? Yeah. So Hal's there for sure. But then he doesn't get involved? Like, why, you know, yeah, why, I mean? why yeah. is he not getting involved? I Maybe he's know. not allowed. Maybe he's not allowed. There's some instances Guardians where I think they're not them. allowed, yeah. yeah. The Guardians don't let them get yeah. intervene. Uh, there was one thing I will, I, uh, there was two things actually I didn't like in the trailer. The first being, uh, I don't like the look of Cyborg all that much. I think he looks too digital Dude, he robotic. looks very much like a exoskeleton of the terminator from mm -hmm. the first His terminator look a little weird yeah I, I i wish they would add some kind of plating just a little bit of plating to him May, mm -hmm. not completely comic book the way he looks but just a little bit i think he looks a little too robotic and not cg well done yeah um and the next bit i believe it's batman in the trailer talking about how great superman is and that he brings hope and shit mm -hmm. and i'm like you met the guy for about five minutes we're and just you try to ride past this. Yeah, they're trying to turn this ship. Right? And I'm they're just trying like to make the fucking that the that iceberg. right there. I, I I didn't like that part. Yeah, because it's just like you met him for five minutes. You beat him up. You guys said each other's names, mom's names, and, and then you were BFFs. Yeah, I, I was just a we little. We just gotta move past it. Yeah, 
I'm o- I'm okay with moving yeah, past it. I just trying to steer this fucking ship yeah. out of the iceberg. That it just seemed unnecessary. For, so. Yeah, <laughs> it just seemed not a necessary line in the trailer. Mm-hmm. Uh, great action shots. Uh, there's that they gave the new poster from Alex Ross. Yeah. Saying uh, you can't do this alone, and then each logo is within the yeah, thing. Yeah, you can't save the world alone. Yeah, well, and, like then, uh, picture, and then and then someone uh, digitally inserted Superman, which I thought was pretty cool. Mm-hmm. Uh, so next up, also during that panel, we'll just keep going along yeah, with we'll it. Yeah, we'll finish the whole Warner Brothers uh, thing. So Warner Brothers yeah. announced um, Flashpoint. The most surprising film announcement was that the long-delayed Flash film will be titled Flashpoint. I thought the most exciting was Shazam. Yeah. Well, I don't think that was ex- uh, was, that was exciting. Because like I said, Shazam is on target still. Shazam is like like Wonder Woman. It's the only, uh, only movie that is moving at the pace that they originally set forth four years ago yeah the flash is now a different movie <laughs> yeah flash is now flashpoint yeah um what do you think of them calling it flashpoint i don't it like it be titled flashpoint i don't like it first of all you're you've kind of alienated people who were like they're like what's flashpoint why not just call it the flash you yeah. could have just did the story mm-hmm. and call it and call it the flash flashpoint is just a name to like us comic book nerds mm-hmm. who know what it is yeah except like I don't want to over speculate this because it's pointless, but like, how in the what hell do they do with? Flashpoint? They haven't done a Flash point? story yet. I yeah, there's like, nothing the to point? reboot. There's yeah. nothing to reboot. Yeah. Like Unless th- he's just going back, we're going to see this alternate Flashpoint world, and then he runs back to the present day. I, I'd, then- I'd rather have an origin story where he just fights uh, like Zoom or Mirror Master or something. Yeah. I don't know. We're going to see. We're yeah, like, because I. Who knows? I it I just mean, seems Flash like a has weird been thing such, to do. Such a hard road. Yeah. We might not ever see this fucking movie. But you could have just done a th- origin story where he fights someone. I mean, like, I don't know. But um so they announced Flashpoint and the studio also confirmed that movies uh for Wonder Woman Two, Suicide Squad Two, Green Lantern Corpse, Justice League Dark, The Batman, Batgirl, and Shazam, in no particular order, and no release dates or directors for these projects were revealed or confirmed. So there's so two on that list out of the most recent ones I just noticed, missing Nightwing. Uh, I also noticed there's two glaring omissions from that list as well. Gotham City Sirens, yeah. which is supposed to be the sequel to Suicide Squad because they weren't going to do Squad 2, and Cyborg, which was originally already announced and confirmed, and yeah, now it's not even on the list. with uh, Green Lantern. Yeah, now it's not even on the list, it's but according the list. to the actor, it's well going within what it's supposed to be. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so, so Cyborg's not listed. Um, Nightwing wasn't listed, and that was announced. And Gotham City Gotham Sirens. Gotham City Sirens. And it's just like, so again, we're left in the dark. Yeah, they just I changed. Li- they changed their whole lineup they took again. Three fu- they haven't. Ch- they, there is no lineup. The, the, this isn't the order that the movies are coming in. And Justice League Dark came out of nowhere because, as far as I knew, that movie was dead. Yeah. There yeah. is no lineup. Yeah, and like the, the <laughs> next movie. So we're gonna go see Justice League in November. Yeah. Then in December. 13 months later, we'll see Aquaman. Yeah. And then the next movie after that is Shazam. Yep. Not Black Adam Shazam with The, uh, the Rock, just Shazam. Yeah, just Shazam. They're two completely separate and Brad, movies. Black Adam's not going to be the villain in it either. Which is like, just really dumb. I meant to look up Bla- um, Shazam's uh, thing. And I'm just going to get this out here now. Anyone who's like, oh, they're going to get confused between Captain Marvel DC and Captain Marvel Marvel. He's no long. He's Shazam. He's been Shazam forever. Yes, it sounds stupid, but that's his name. Mm-hmm. Yeah, they got this thing here. Yeah, uh, what's I just his name David F. Sandberg. Yeah, they they no, he's the director. He's got Shazam. a director, and it's like I don't understand why and they're the acting. Go, it's gonna start filming in January. Okay, you need a script. You need a well, writer. They've been working on it for a while. Oh. They have a script. Oh, of course they do. No, they do, though. Oh, of course they do. And then they'll scrap it a month from now. <laughs> DC is rushing the shit out of these movies, and not well. Well, I don't think... Like I said, I don't think Shazam is the one that's being rushed. That's the one that was announced four years ago. They've been working on it since then. And it's the only one that is actually sticking to the original plan that they set out. Well, I mean, the other ones. Oh, the other ones? Yeah. Like, they're just pulling movies. And I don't like that we're still... We have no idea of... When anything is happening. We don't even know if Affleck's sticking around. 
I think he's sticking around. He I I do as well, but like it just it seems odd. He made it clear. He he did some interviews. He made his speech on the Comic Con yeah. stage on the panel. Stage. I don't think he's going anywhere. I think he he's wants not to be going in. anywhere. Uh, so after that announcement of uh, Flashpoint, uh, Jeffrey Dean Morgan and um, Lauren Cohen, Nicole, uh, Lauren Cohen, who played um, Martha and uh, Thomas at the be uh, in the Batman v Superman movie tweeted out that they'd pretty much like to play the characters from the Flashpoint universe. Which makes sense. If, oh, yeah. If, if they're moving in the Flashpoint world, then these two will be back. I, I, I would love to her see... Her Joker and his Batman. Yeah. Because that's the way it works. Oh, my right? God. I would Fucking love to incredible. see him and her as their respective people they're supposed to be. Yeah. Like, any movie... And Jeffrey Dean Morgan, he would basically be the comedian, right? In a bat suit. Yeah. That awesome. Point, yeah. yeah. Awesome. Yeah. I think it'd be great. Yeah, that'd be cool. Uh, Maybe so, in 2037, we'll see it. Yeah, exactly. So um, that was kind of it for uh, DC's big thing. Yeah. Uh, now we'll, we'll move on to, we'll stick within movies. So we'll stay with, um, you want to do you want to do animated stuff or you want to move to Marvel? Well, this was DC. So we'll, okay, we'll, we'll stick with DC. Yeah, so we'll, we'll stick with movies, but it's more of their animated movies. So they announced three, four technically new movies. Yeah. Uh, one of which is new, and two are kind of like the same thing. Yeah. So we got uh, Gaslight by Gotham, which we kind of already knew was coming based off the uh, leak from the Harley Quinn versus Batman thing. Yeah. Um, it'll be the story of that, the Elseworld story. I, of, the Elseworld I story. haven't either. I've just seen the suit from the games yeah, I've seen it. of um, Batman going after Jack the Ripper, mm -hmm. which if they keep the violence level where they have been, yeah, I like think it'll 13. be yeah. I think it'll be a great story. Uh, then they announced another Suicide Squad uh, movie, Hell to Pay, which I guess is another origin story for them. And at this point, it's like, stop trying well, what to. What it says is like, so it says Suicide Squad, Hell to Pay, Task yeah. for Task Force X, first movie set in this animated universe. Because what they're they put in there is like, the team was already shown in the Assault on Arkham. But that assault on Arkham was within in the Arkham. Arkham universe. Yeah. Whereas this will be in like the post-52 universe that they've been putting all their movies in. It's still a cheap cop out. Yeah. It's, but you know what? Uh, right away, it's not another Batman and it's not another Justice League movie. So I'm fine with that. <laughs> Pretty much. Because that's what, the last two years have been Batman and Justice, Justice League. League. And then we have what I think I like it. It's the death and return of Superman. Yeah. They're going to do the story right this time. Two-parter. Two-parter. Everyone who was in it, I would assume, is in this one. Full-on, like, him fighting, him dying, and then the four then the, Superman. Uh, that, the uh, reign of the Superman. Reign of the Superman. So, Super... What is it? Uh, Eradicator, who was... And then Cyborg, and then... Um, Irons. I, Irons, and then uh, Superboy. Yeah. Uh, you think they put him in his jean jacket and shit? Oh, yeah. Awesome. Yeah. 90s cheese. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> so they'll do that right. And everyone was like, oh, they already did Doomsday, blah, 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 blah. Well, they cut, like, most of the content in that movie. Yeah. So I think this will be a lot better. I actually like where they're doing with this. God, that Alex Ross poster is awesome. I'll, uh, I'll put it in the shot here. It's uh, it's actually pretty amazing. Yeah. Uh, he's saving it right now. <laughs> it's going to be my new uh, phone image. Um. So moving on from there, that that was kind of it for DC's uh, movie stuff. So we'll we'll jump right over to Marvel. Yep. Uh, yep. We'll start with their movies. Uh, so we they teased more of uh, Infinity War. Um, they have yet to give us a trailer to show anything from it. Nope. So I'm not gonna read any of the d descriptions for the movies for it. Yeah. You so find the screw that, you guys. Go, go watch it somewhere else. Yeah, exactly. I'm not. Go read it. I'm so annoyed at Marvel when it comes to that movie. They'll give us every other movie, but they won't give us um, anything else. Mm -hmm. So uh, we'll move on to uh, Ant Man and the Wasp. There was a lot of uh, concept art shown. Yeah. They. Who, who is she playing? Michelle Pfeiffer. She's playing... Uh, Janet Van Dyne. So, Janet the mother. Dyne, the mother. Yeah. That's cool. Yeah. I like that. Uh, they cast Bill Foster as well. Mm-hmm. Um, I, I like the... Uh, I like the casting. Um, she was good in that one movie she did. <laughs> <laughs> I was just trying to find the story that I had open for that. So, <laughs> just 
go ahead and Bear read the uh, well you got um, the plot right there footage. right I guess they they did have footage to show I didn't know it was already filming yeah yeah. See, like, I'm okay with them. Sh- like, yeah, like this, this is stuff. Just the teaser footage. It's very similar to the. Like, it, it's the footage yeah. It's very stuff. early preliminary. Fo- yeah. Like, it's not a fucking trailer. It's not a trailer like that like the Infinity War. Yeah, things. exactly. Like, that you should release. This is uh, this is Comic Con exclusive. I yeah, get that. I understand that. Yeah, yeah, totally. Um, they showed footage in the concept art, and it, I guess from like comments and reviews previously uh, reported on, it looks good. Yeah. Uh, then they moved on to Black Panther. Yep. Uh, that the the scene that I read, the uh, business scene, Casino Royale type of thing, yeah. sounds fantastic. So there's a meeting between um, Claw and uh, um, Matt Freeman's character. Oh, our Martin. Yeah, they're having a meeting. They're exchanging diamonds for vibranium. And uh, T'Challa, T'Challa, yeah, T'Challa's sister's there, and it just leads to this huge fight. And Black Panther's been monitoring it, right? So, um, his arm turns into the gun that he has, the blaster. Uh, he blocks the shot, and then it's followed up by a bunch of like that. That scene ends, and then it's just followed by a whole bunch of like shots after that of like the pre- next scene, and then some scenes later on in the movie. So. They start fighting and they get into a car fight. And I guess like his suit kind of does the Iron Man uh, two extremist thing, mm-hmm. where it just unfolds and goes on him. Oh yeah. Yeah, and I'm like, I like that idea, mm-hmm. and it shows that his suit can hide while he works and does whatever he needs to do. Mm-hmm. And then there's a shot later on of um, Jordan's uh, Michael B. Jordan's uh, Killmonger uh, confronting Panther. And they start doing a chase through uh, Korea. And then um, the suit comes out again. And then uh, Killmonger has his gold suit kind of come out. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Cool. Um, it's a really... Qu- it it's, looks... From what I've read, it looks like the comic suit that Killmonger wears in the later comics. Mm-hmm. So just the full-on gold and the mask and everything. And it comes like out... Panthers. Like Panthers. Like yeah. yeah. That's uh, cool. And, and, it, and it nanotechs out of him, too. Yeah. And I'm like, oh, that's cool. And then they show this awesome picture of um, him on top of the panther mm-hmm. again in uh, one of the shots. Mm-hmm. So that was pretty cool. And then, so that was just it for those two. They kind of just were like preliminary. We're kind of taping them things. And then the big thing we got is, man, they are really trying to push Thor Ragnarok. I saw the trailer for that. I watched the new one. Yeah, yeah. that trailer is awesome. I really dig it. I like the idea of the story they're going for, mm-hmm. where that seems like that Loki, when he took over as Odin, kind of fucked everything up and weakened Asgard. So um, I believe it looks funny. Yeah, I like the the banter between uh, uh, him and uh, Thor, and like Man. yeah, it seems that they've connected um, Thor in all of his movies and all of his appearances into one story. Where, mm-hmm. like, he ends up in various places just randomly. <laughs> yeah. So, but it works in the context of his mm-hmm. story. So, like, this trailer, we kind of got the glimpse of what the plot's going to be for the movie. Which is Helena taking over Asgard and Thor recruiting Hulk, Valkyrie, and Loki to take it back. Mm-hmm. And there's some great bits with the Hulk and uh, Thor. Mm-hmm. And even Banner and him. Like, yeah, it, like the, the one scene... That one scene where he's like, uh, we fought today. He's like, oh, did we? did I win? And he's like, no, I won. But you clearly see in the shot he got in his ass kicked. Yeah, he got his ass beat. Yeah, it was. And then the Banner's like, I don't know. Yeah. Like, that doesn't make sense. Yeah. <laughs> and it was weird. I'm like, wait, you don't know what's going on? He can't remember. Yeah, I think he repressed the Hulk in this one yeah. more than he does the other ones. Because mm-hmm. um, from what I was reading, the Hulk doesn't let him come out because he doesn't want to be puny Banner mm-hmm. in the when he's over there. And then the end, I love the end thing where he's like, yeah, we're kind of the same. He's like, yeah, I'm fire and you're water. And he's like, well, I'm kind of fire too. He's like, yeah, but I'm a raging fire. Yeah, but it's Hulk that's talking. Yeah, it's Hulk talking. Scene, which yeah. is different because in the other, so far throughout the movies, he hasn't been able to He said much. like three, four words yeah. max. But, um, but so this that, time he was carrying on a conversation. Yeah, it looks like a great full on like fight exclusive movie, which mm-hmm. is great. Um we got a Iron Fist update. They are going to do Iron Fist 2. Uh, they have a new showrunner. It is Raven Mersner. Mils- Messner. Messner. 
Messed for up. season two. He so, did, um, what says it? He was, well, he's from Sleepy Hollow and Falling Skies. Yes. Uh, sleep. <laughs> which part of Sleepy Hollow? Uh, hopefully the first part. <laughs> and I've never seen Falling Skies, so yeah. I don't know. But um, I liked the first Iron Fist. Uh, I thought it was really slow. Was but... it the weakest of the four? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Uh, yeah, it was the weakest of the four. And it just seems like everyone's taking shots at him, even within the new Defenders trailer. Yeah. They take shots at him. Did you watch the new Defenders trailer? No. Yeah. Ah, it was pretty decent. I've only watched... I don't even know if I'll watch The Defenders because I've only watched Daredevil. I think you've known enough about what I've told you about the other three series that you'd probably be fine. I'm just like... It's just them teaming up to fight the hand. I guess. Which is his, which is Daredevil's main thing. Yeah. So yeah. I'm like, maybe I'll check it out. And they bring back Elektra. Oh, great. Yeah. But it's more of the suicidal Elektra. So, uh, then they we'll go back to the other one. This one, the just the Defenders trailer. Okay, yeah, the Defenders trailer. This is another great promotional art. Marvel kills it with its promotional art when it's actually a shot of someone, oh, and not just Punisher. their bullshit. Uh, we got more. We got another look at the Punisher. It, but no official date yet. I don't think. Is there? Has there been a date? I, I think it's just fall. I think it's twenty seventeen. Like I think it's after year. Luke Cage, because I think what happens is. The Defenders comes out, then Luke Cage, and then I think it's Punisher. Okay. Because that would make sense because they're still taping. Because Luke Cage... They're taping Jessica Jones. Punisher... Oh, let's look this up for a second. Okay, so I'm just going to ramble off while you go. They're taping Jessica Jones right now. I think Luke Cage is almost done. They just started taping uh, Daredevil, and Iron Fist was just announced. So... So Defenders comes out August 18th. 18th. Yeah. Luke Cage, season two. Uh, it says 2018. So maybe they're taking a break. So there must be a bit of a break. But I thought Punisher came out in this year, unless Punisher jumps ahead. Yeah, Punisher is listed as 2017. So I think it goes Defenders, Punisher. Punisher. Well, that would make sense because that would be the next round of cycles, right? Yeah. Okay, that makes sense. I just got the order messed up. And then probably uh, Jessica, um, Daredevil, and then Iron Fist. Yeah. And then probably like another team up if they do decide to do that Defenders again. Two or whatever, yeah. yeah. So that was that was. That's pretty cool. Yeah. I'll check out the trailer. I just um, didn't get a chance. To do staying it. with Marvel TV, we saw more of. Um, what else did we? Uh, Fox is the gifted. Uh, which we saw another trailer kind of showing off um, Blink, Polaris, and Thunderbird and their various powers. And it seems like they are a group of mutants who helps mutants escape from this mutant collecting force. Uh, and they're going to be helping the family in the show, and they'll probably suck at it because oh, oh. it'll add shit. And, and oh, none I was, of it, I was getting to none that. Of it, none of it counts. None of it matters. <laughs> so Fox and all its great continued success, I'm trying to drive every franchise they have into the ground. I have decided that everything is separate. It all takes place so, in a different time and a different type of university thing. Because so, apparently streaming off from Days of Futures Past, instead of a linear line, everything went like this. So anytime you see a new Fox property with a mutant, it's probably a different universe. So you, so got, you, got, you got the movie, got the Legion, movie Legion and, and, gifted. and Gifted. Now, when you count the movie universe, one would argue that the old movies are different than the new movies, and the new movies are different than the new movies. And what I mean is like... One could argue that and probably be right. Just go with me. I'm with Future, you. Future uh, First Class yeah. would be more aligned with the old movies. Yep. Same with the first half of Days of Future's <laughs> Past. And it's getting really bad continuity-wise when the first half of your movie is in a different continuity of the second because half the of your movie. the first half of Days of Future's Past set, which is like in the future, is in line with everything so far that the Sentinels come back, wipe them out, all yeah. that shit. They send Logan back, and that's where shit goes fucking cr crisscross. Yeah. I'm going to say something that's... And at that point on, it's movie to movie, singly on its own. <laughs> I'm going to say something that's equally fascinating and... It'll just blow your mind for a second. Doctor Who. Yes. 50 years old. Yes. Marvel. Yeah. Fox movies. Yeah. 
What is there, seven? Oh, there's more than seven. Not but... like mainline. I'm not talking Logan and all that. Okay, talking... so there'd be there'd be seven. There's seven. No, six. If we're only doing the, if we're doing the first trilogy and the second trilogy, there's only six. Okay, so there's six movies at six this movies point. In. How is it that a show that's 50 years old changes continuity, makes it work, but six fucking movies in the Just last 15 years it. cannot fucking make a comprehensive timeline? Nope. Just Doctor Who has do gone back two scenes from older shows and still made it work. Yep. But Fox can't make six movies work. No, six movies are like, we don't know what to do. <laughs> we don't have enough space. We, we did four and a half, and then we were like, fuck it, just make shit up and yeah. twist it around and bend it backwards. And, and then and then we have Logan, which just does whatever it wants, and then it gets erased from Con. It's it's eight ways yeah, from it's fuck. Yeah, it's the same idea. It's after the second half of Days of Future's Past, it's just movie to movie. It's no longer a universe. No, it they're isn't. They're gone back to the 90s where they're just making movies. Yeah, basically. Making movies, making TV shows, writing those checks. Yeah. When you're making the animated series from the 90s look like genius, you got a problem. Because that continuity works. Mm-hmm. Um, anything else from Marvel? Um, I think that was kind I of it. I thought I had... It's just strictly this, that they're still pushing or confirming that Gambit it's is It's dead. On the radar. It is dead. That movie is dead on arrival. Like, there's nothing to do. Uh, That's TV. But there was really no news on it. No news, but... Uh, so just we'll, we'll just throw some little short stories out here. Yeah. So we got uh, Ghostbusters. Um, allegedly, there's two movies in the work. One an animated, and then one. Um, what is it? The team of one or something? Um, they were they were talking about two movies at a panel. That yeah. one is definitely an animated one, and one is a live action one. And it seems like they're going to bridge the gap between the one that just came out and the original ones. Oh, the, so the animated film that would be told by the perspective of the ghosts. Well, that sounds kind of funny. For yeah. an animated film. Oh, for an animated film? Yeah, yeah, definitely. Yeah, yeah And then work. he played the crowd. So we go, he talks a little bit about how that film would work. And then he played the crowd by adding, and of course, a new li- live action film. Yeah. Um, it was very clear that the people were happy that the original, yeah, and all that stuff. But the new take that they did in 2016 wasn't received well. So it we'll wasn't. We'll try it was just a bad movie. Um, <clears throat> I would love to see it. I've never watched the 16 one. But it's not good. I would want to see them moving forward and trying something else. That AMA one sounds good. Yeah. Uh, then we got a little bit of uh, news from Fox. They're re-evaluating um, Alien after Covenant did not do so well. Yeah. Pretty much tanked. Mm-hmm. Um, I thought it was a good movie. I can see why people didn't like it. Uh, any other Straight little... Tid- like, just short stories I'm going to throw out. Uh... Apparently, Universal is going after Channing Tatum for Van Helsing because I guess they're still moving forward with this monster universe. Their first movie failed spectacularly. And just again reporting that Angelina Jolie is uh, the one that they want to get for uh, Frankenstein's Bride. Not bad casting. Not a bad casting, but their movies suck. They're just—it's still showing that they're they're moving forward on this, even though two movies in. One movie in. Well, they tried already. That doesn't said, count. They've they already tried, said it yeah, doesn't count. But it originally did. And what I'm saying is you Two tried, movies in, yeah. And it didn't work. You tried four years later, it didn't work. Nope. And you're still going to keep trying to ride that fucking train. That movie performed so badly that the first three mummies still did better. And no one saw the third mummy movie. Mm-hmm. It's terrible. Um, Let's go with Strain. Okay. So we got another... We got the first... Uh, trailer uh i don't know we'll probably get another one for stranger things um surprise hit tv show for the first season uh came out of nowhere the second season looks like more of the same but just in a bigger fashion like it just it looks great i love like you see that kid is severely fucked up now he just seems to be the going was in the upside down world. world. Yeah. He just seems now like he goes in between those two worlds. And did you see the size? Of I didn't that? watch the trailer. You didn't watch the trailer? No. Oh, man. I thought you watched it. There is a Godzilla sized monster that he sees oh, in yeah. that world. Yeah. In the upside down. In the upside down world. And it seems like the upside down world is now starting to bleed into the real world. Mm-hmm. And. 
just all the characters dealing with that there's some great bits in the trailer and like it's it's still set kind of in the 80s like they're all wearing ghostbusters costumes for halloween that's and, cool yeah and then um it, i've seen that picture of that it right ends now. with basically like 11 popping out of the upside down world her arm just comes out of the mm-hmm. one of the shots out of the school and then that yeah oh a lot of great trailers yeah, yeah. Oh, you want to move into these? Television. So, the big four uh, right now on DC's Marvel slate, or DC's uh, CW slate, sorry. Uh, Flash, Arrow, Supergirl, and Legends of Tomorrow all got se- um, season trailers, Go. scissor reels, if you will. Um, out of the four shows, I watched two. So. I watched three. All right. I forgot about Legends. I forgot about Legends. That's how much that show is just kind of there. So I watched the Supergirl trailer to see kind of like where the last season ended and where the new one starts because that's what the other three trailers did, right? It was a terrible trailer. There was like nothing in it. It was just kind of like promotional shots. Mm -hmm. It just, it wasn't a good trailer. So I'm like, well, I guess I will continue not watching this. (laughs) Um, I'll go into Legends since you don't watch it. Yeah. Um, Starts off with them recapping the end of the season and then showing off what their plan is for this season. They have to go fix all the time breaches. Um, Captain Cold is coming back. He's a different version of Captain Cold again. Uh, Damien Dark is going to have some guest appearances. Rip Hunter is still in it, and it seems like he's reestablished the uh, time, whatever the hell they're called in this thing. Well, I'll just call them Time Lords for the sake of Time Lords on that. <laughs> Uh, it's it's so weird how hard they're fucking Time Lords. but Honestly, yeah. It. So just because they got the British guy who played a companion, they're like, hey, he's a Time Lord with a gun. Yeah. So he, it seems that they're at odds with him over, like, because they're idiots and shouldn't be able to fix time. And then just talking about how bad they are at their jobs. And there's little jokes and shit like that. It was not it was a, it, it was a good trailer. I liked it. Um, so continue watching that if you do. Moving on, I think we'll go with The Flash now. Um, I liked Flash's trailer. It starts off with Iris talking about how Barry told She's her to the live. fastest woman alive, <laughs> so she has to keep running. It's like, so you you just said I like Flash's trailer. I started watching it thinking, what the fuck? I'm just gonna let you rant. Are they gonna do in this fucking series? Because they start off uh, the same way. My name is Iris West, and I'm the fastest woman alive because I was in love once. And that man had to run away to save the other world. So he told me to keep running for him. So I'm going to keep running and be strong for him. Because, uh, you know, reasons. And, and CW Television says I need to do this so I can collect my paycheck every week. Because I, along with other characters on this show, shouldn't be on this fucking show for 26 goddamn episodes and four fucking seasons. Doing nothing. But I like collecting that fucking money. So after that monologue, she does this. And then it jumps into clips of the upcoming season. Yes. Because they just started filming a few weeks ago, so yeah. there's only a few episodes. Maybe two, three, four. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> it looks like they pull a berry out. From somewhere. From somewhere else. I don't think it's the, the Speed time. Force. It's not the Speed Force. It doesn't look like the Speed Force. It's either a berry from another world or a berry from our world just in the future or something like yeah. that. Yeah. I like the idea of Kid Flash and Cisco out trying to save the city. Cause it's, I like the I don't mind I don't mind Kid Flash being there. I get that he would he would yeah. step up, but I would have liked him to step up and have been the Flash. Yeah, like Wally is supposed. They to They stated do. that that wasn't going to happen, so I have already made my peace with that. But I like the thought of these two idiots trying to save the city, mm-hmm. and then you see them immediately fail when they fight, uh, as you called him, Samurai Jack. <laughs> Samurai Jack. Yeah, I don't know what the. Fuck I don't know who he was. was. Like I have no idea. I don't know so, who it was. So, yeah, it was, that was, it was a good trailer. I liked it. I'm very intrigued, to say the least, to see what they do and what Barry they pull out. Mm-hmm. And it better not be Barry from the Speed Force. Because that would just... Like, he's obviously going to come back. You know it's going to be Barry from the Speed Force. I know. I, think it, I don't think it is. I would like it, like it not to be, but I believe it will be, which is just like, again, one episode in and, no again, no repercussions for what he does. Yeah. So staying with the Flash, they have cast the Thinker or the Tinker. Thinker. The Thinker. Danny Trejo. That's little awesome. bit of weird. 
I, I like it. I like uh, him. I don't know how he's going to roll on a CW show. I also don't know how he is the thinker. He doesn't seem, no offense to the guy, like the guy who would be the guy in charge. <laughs> he's usually the guy with a giant machete. Yeah. But uh, props to him, I guess. That's kind of a big name for the CW to pull down, though. It is. It is. Like, that is a big name. I mean, like, they usually have Jeffrey Dean Morgan on, but, like, to pull a guy who already is a big name, like, everyone kind of knows that name when you mm-hmm. say it. So, I'm I'm more intrigued for The Flash's season than I was when it ended. Yeah, I'm intrigued to see how it goes and, and how many episodes I watch. Yeah. <laughs> um, Arrow. Arrow. Now, Arrow ended. Magnificently. The island blowing up and everyone dying, except for um, Arrow and his kid, were great. Mm -hmm. Now, from the trailer, it seems like everyone's dead, except for Ollie, his kid, Black Canary, not Black Canary, who needs to go the fuck away, and Deathstroke, Deathstroke, who looks like he's having a bad day. (laughs) It looked really good. The trailer looked good. A lot of action. I like the idea of, like, Oliver having to take care of... uh, yeah his son yeah and then like he, he's living with him whatever and doing all that shit um still at odds with that stroke but they're still kind of buddy buddy but yeah they kind of are like again we survived the island in some strange way so we got to fucking stick together or whatever. yeah and then maybe not liking the way he does things mm-hmm. but um yeah it's just they do it's cut that way misleadingly so oh definitely you know i'm i think the only person that doesn't make it off the island is the boy's mother yeah which i think is I'm still Complete thinking maybe bullshit. the cop too. Her, her dad. Yeah. I'm like. Or or her, um, not her. Um. Willa. Oh, like uh, his his, his sister. sister. Yeah, I I think his sister might not make Thea? it. Yeah. Thea I'll, would be good. She's kind of expendable. I like her character last season. Yeah. She, Big improvement. Yeah. But um, yeah. If she doesn't make it, I wouldn't be all that surprised. And we know the mom's not making it. Like she's yeah, dead. the mom is definitely gone. We saw it in the shot. Like she's gone. <laughs> I would like one more to be gone, just so that it actually means something. Because killing off that mother means nothing to the character. You know no. what I mean? Like it, it doesn't. Oh, Oliver lost. Whatever. Fine. Oliver has shit. But for a viewer, I couldn't give a fuck that that girl that I no, met for four two episodes one episode ish is like not there anymore. Yeah. They need to do something and, and make. I th- I th- I think it's gonna be Quentin Thea or be Thea. Quinn, it's Quinn. I think. I think it would go like the mom is bottom. Yeah. Quinn is next. Thea is above that. Yeah. I would like Thea. Someone big has to die, or that whole last season where it ends has no, no repercussions. No, yeah, no bear. And Arrow no is memes. pretty decent when it comes to repercussions for mm-hmm. things that happen. So. So, I would just like it to be Thea. I mean, I want to go straight up there and go with like Diggle. Yeah, but I don't think we're going diggle high on that fucking. No, chart. no, we're ne- and we're definitely not getting to Felicity either. Felicity's no, oh, definitely not. not she they toned down her annoyingness so much in this season. I hope they continue that trend. This season, no. This season was the one where she was like annoying again because she thought she was righteous. And knew but she was righteous, like annoying righteous. But she wasn't character the entire season annoying. Yeah, you know what I mean. Like, like the, the season, season before, before that, that, I hope she died every episode. Yeah. Where this time it was like every three episodes. Yeah, it was. Yeah, it was every few. You know, every other week you're like, eh, okay, fine, she can live. You live this one. Um, <laughs> Next week you're not making it though. Yeah, but no, the trailer was good, and I'm. That's a show I watch more no. regularly than Flash, so I'm excited and wanting to see it come back. My poor uh, microphone. No black lightning. Yeah, I was gonna ask you when we were going. No this. black There's lightning. No trailer for that? Nothing. But again, there was I guess it nothing. Just started. Doesn't matter. So, you can't shoot anything. These shows just started. I guess you couldn't put together a, like a shot. A, like here's black lightning. No lightning, talk. boom! Here it's no coming to CW. Anything. Nothing. No talk. I seen Concept zip though? zero. Nothing. Pictures? Jack shit. Did they even go to COD? Were they there? I would assume so. I thought they would be in this slate of DC shows. I don't even know if they were there. But they yeah. weren't. I was Apparently. Stuff, yeah, there was nothing. Them. We got more news on Ghostbusters and Aliens, two franchises dying slowly. Mm -hmm. Um, There was some comic book news, but not like a lot. I thought there would be a lot more than there was. So we got kind of the Captain America's going on Superman's walk 
tour. <laughs> um, so look Walk forward to that. So I guess that's kind of like coming out of the uh, Secret Empire thing. Mm-hmm. So we'll see if uh, news banner Secret Empire update. Mm-hmm. We'll see if what happens at the end of that. Um, it seems like it's a long way away. The, and the relaunch, man, I was hoping it, it, it seems like it's going into October, November. I was thinking it was September. The relaunch? I yeah. Thought it was September too. That's what. The no, it said. seems it. Some of it seems later on. Oh wow. Yeah. Then I'm gonna have to change some of that stuff. Yeah. Um, we'll have to check, definitely check into it, but I think some of it's happening in the end of October. Mm. Like it, the, like it starts in September, but by each, by the time like every character's book comes out, type of thing. Like, yeah, by the time they get full rolling, it yeah. seems like a lot of it's going to be affected at the end of that. Mm-hmm. So, um, we were going to cover that in this stuff, all the stuff that Marvel had announced, but they didn't announce anything, so we waited, and now I didn't get any of that news because there was so much announced for it. So we'll probably have to throw it in some video at some point. We'll just group it in next week so yeah something. i'm looking at your laptop and i am not liking how many icons you have on there that's my new approach is I, to just like i actually just want i need to fill in this little space you're actually One, two, the more stuff you have on your desktop the slower it makes your desktop 10, i got i get i got spot for like 11 place 11 i have place. literally eight it actually slows down your laptop to have all that process there oh yeah yeah but that's okay I have it all that. this computer's like 10 years old anyways isn't yeah. it yeah <laughs> you took all the news stories yeah, I, away. Got, I, I closed it there, I did them all <laughs> that was all the there's news stories the there's nothing left I, there's nothing left up top oh my god all. that can't be right I thought there was a lot more now okay so I do know one story that I have that you didn't watch uh, Ready at Player One that big movie from uh, Steven Spielberg uh, we saw a trailer for it um, I actually got really hyped to watch it I really enjoyed the trailer I went and bought the book so you're going to read the book? I'm going to read. Yeah, I'm going to read. the. I normally don't really care, but it, that trailer and from what I read from people talking about it afterwards mm-hmm. just seems like a book I really want to read. It's kind of like it seems like a um, Wreck-It Ralph type of like pop culture referenced entire story mm-hmm. with a story within that framework. So when you saw the trailer, you saw this. Um, it starts off with this guy talking about how their generation has like disappeared and that they were the generation that disappeared was the line in the trailer and but they had nowhere to go yeah so they all went into this virtual world but the way the world is set up it seems like there's too many people in the world and they have like trailer homes stacked on top of each other Mm -hmm. type of thing i think i believe it i don't remember i thought it was wisconsin but i could be wrong but it just seems like the world is a very like nitty gritty type of there's too many people Again, crammed into one spot. Yeah, yeah. dystopian po- uh, post apocalyptic, and it seems like every kid um, goes into or teenager goes into because I think it's the kid from X Men playing that plays Cyclops. That guy. Yeah, or it's the guy who plays Mister Fantastic. Okay. One of those two guys. Okay. Not bad actors either. Of yeah. Them, so. Um, he puts on these glasses, goes into this world, and then you just see like various shots of characters from different properties. You see the so Iron it- Giant. You see like a ninja that kind of looks like a uh, foot from the turtles. Mm-hmm. Uh, you see what looks like a giant scorpion with also Superman riding on top of him. Mm-hmm. Um, it's a Warner Brothers movie, so I guess they kind of just brought in all these Warner Brothers properties. Mm-hmm. There's uh, a... And it just shows like all this fights happening in this big digital world. And then there's this racing that goes on and it's all these like their baseline things where like they just look like cars and drones getting into a car. But once the race starts, they all transform into whatever they're racing as. So you see this giant monster truck. Things turn into like fancy sports cars. One guy turns into the DeLorean. One guy turns into what very much looks like a Tron cycle. <laughs> and so, and then there's just big, huge race, like with jumps and everything like that. So it just seems like this whole digital landscape they go into. It's kind of like best way I could describe it would be the Star Trek holodeck. Would it be like thing. plugging into the Matrix? Yeah, basically, without like the stabby thing in their yeah. neck. It's just it's like really good it's VR. Like, it's like high tech VR. Yeah. yeah. And they have the gloves and everything. So and you it just, put on this gear and you go into this digital world and yeah. then you play the game? Yeah. But it seems like something happens within this game that... Um, Obviously affects your real life? Yeah. And then uh, from what I read, t- uh, the book synopsis, mm-hmm. it's this kid finds out that this game, uh, this the guy who created the game and holds like the biggest company in the world dies. And he hides clues within the game to whoever finds them all 
gets all his wealth and the company. Mm. So you have to go into the game to find all the clues to get the company. Yeah. Now, I don't know if that's what the movie is about, but it just seems riddled with like nerd pop culture references. Mm-hmm. So I'm like, oh, I, I grabbed the book right off Amazon because I'm like, this sounds like a that's great cool. read. Yeah. So I, I really enjoyed that trailer. Um, we had heard about the Steven Spielberg movie for a while. Yeah. But this kind of just was like, here you go. And I was like, okay, I'll check this out. And I just watched the trailer. I was like, oh, this is great. Mm-hmm. I watched it again to see if I could find any more like just stuff I missed the mm-hmm. first time. But I'll yeah. check it out. Yeah, it's, it's definitely worth a watch, I think, for people. Uh, it will probably do well. It's a Steven Spielberg movie. Everybody likes him. Mm-hmm. Like everybody watched Stranger Things because it had a Steven Spielberg feel to it. Yeah. Like a Goonies, Steven Spielberg vibe. Yeah. I remember uh, watching that last October. Yeah. It was so fucking good. I don't know if there was any other big stuff here. I will open it up right now. Because I think that was it. Um, yeah. Like uh, a lot of what we expected... And then kind of a lot of just no smaller stories. Yeah. It very similar to like the E3 experience where like there wasn't the crazy big things because the big ones were last year. And then these ones were just updates on last year's. Yeah. Like, uh, you know, so we saw new stuff for uh, Krypton. Uh, nothing really big there. Just people who might appear. So we'll see how that goes. And then like um, Star Trek stuff. Uh, new trailer for that. It looked interesting. Uh, I'm still not convinced because I don't like that it's set before uh, Kirk and um, Nimoy. I, I think don't... it's the best way to not fuck up the timeline. But the, you can set it afterwards, do. though. After Voyager and stuff like that. I'd rather them do that than set it beforehand. Yeah. I hate when stuff's set before, especially on Star Trek. Because Enterprise just left such a bad taste in people's mouth because mm-hmm. it was really bad. And it's one of the reasons they rebooted the whole franchise anyways. Mm-hmm. But it's with it's set in the old continuity, not in the new continuity. Yeah. Um, so, in theory, like, it should it would lead into Kurt of yeah. the 60s. Yeah. And I'm like, okay, fine. It looked interesting. <clears throat> um, the one big update that we have for that was, remember when they announced it? It was on CBS's app. Mm-hmm. And we're like, oh, how are we going to watch that anywhere else? Because they only have that in the U.S. So it's going to premiere on September 24th uh, on the on CBS's network. Then it's going to go to that app for the rest of the stuff. And then everywhere else, for, from what it seems, it's going to be on Netflix. Oh. So. It's going to go straight to Netflix? Kind of yeah. like the Riverdale where it's like yeah. it's up there a week later or yeah. whatever? Okay. I'm like, all right, that's cool. It works. Uh, at least I get to watch it. So I was done. Is it and it's a full hour or forty two minutes? Yeah, it's a full like length show, yeah. like uh not a half one like other shows. Um yeah. Normal just like really good trailers for stuff. Nothing big that we didn't expect. Marvel screwed us out of a trailer. We're still waiting for that. Um yeah. Doctor Who has a panel shortly, but we wanted to tape this, so we're, when we're almost positive now that the doctor's been thing there's not going to be a big announcement nothing so unless they unless she like and they might show a trailer to the christmas special that's all i can think so if you want to go check that out check that out anything we have mentioned today you can find on any site or any google search yeah you can easily find anything we haven't they all the release dates for stuff we hadn't mentioned all the tv shows have release dates um so i think that's it for our reacts to comic-con yep um Great toys if you want to go check them out too. They showed off oh, a bunch of great figures. Uh, amazing yeah. fucking like detailed figures for Justice League. Like Yeah, Justice League's oh, figures look amazing. Fuck. But I want more those Ghostbusters Turtles crossover figures. Yeah, those those look really things good too. are amazing. We'll put, put a picture of the Yeah, I'm gonna put right the turtles here. up too. Right I'll throw there. the Justice League up for you guys too. Mm-hmm. Uh, and then I'll throw the Black Panther up earlier in the thing. I'll throw some pictures up for you guys to see. Uh, so Thank you for joining us on our Comic-Con Reacts. Uh, I have been Anthony. This is Nick. Please comment, like, follow, subscribe. We will see you next time. See you. Bye.